The tornado ripped through Whiteland and the impact is still being felt by that community. Tonight, people living in Whiteland came together to try and help those affected get back on their feet. CBS 4's Jenny Dreisler has more on this community night out event. Right here, it got picked up almost like Wizard of Oz and just sat right in the middle of the road. The damage left behind from an EF3 tornado that hit Whiteland on March 31st isn't hard to find. Four months later, plots of land still sit empty where houses once stood and others are still trying to rebuild. Just to help maybe speed up the process, getting people back to normal. Normal. That's exactly what the town of Whiteland is trying to help people like Jonathan Ross, whose home was damaged, to get back to. Dozens showed up for Whiteland's annual community night out Friday evening. Just to take their minds off of it, because even though it's been three months now, um, they still have the headaches of dealing with the tornado in, in whatever form or fashion. And so this is just a night to bring everybody together. There were games, food, and entertainment. This year, all the proceeds go to tornado recovery efforts. A cause organizers say is important, as many hit by the tornado have had problems getting back on their feet, whether it's issues with insurance or being denied help from federal agencies. Let's just say um, insurance will pay X amount and FEMA may be paid X amount, but there's still a gap to get the project done and get the home built. Um, and so that's where that, that donation management team and that those funds will be raised to help cover that gap. Whether it's a dollar here or a dollar there for food or a game, every little bit helps. And it's really devastating. So our hearts really go out to the people who were affected by that and we want to be able to help them however we can. And for those affected, seeing the community come together is priceless. Grateful, to be honest. Like I said, we had such a great turnout with the community, helping with the cleanup efforts and to see people still showing up the way they are. It's an amazing feeling. It makes me proud to be here in Whiteland. In Johnson County, Jenny Dreisler, CBS 4 News. Uh, you bet. We have information, by the way, on how you can donate and how to contact the group if you need help. That's all on CBS4Indy.com.